Okay, so here we have a very common scenario. We have a stereo track that we're mastering in some way, shape or form. So I've got my stereo track up here and then I've loaded in the mix console a few, in this case, just three inserts um, from different manufacturers and different plug-in varieties, VSTs, whatever. Um, and I've got them up on the screen and normally you'd press start. <laughs> down a bit and while the music's playing you'll play with your boosts and your EQs and you'll go through each plugin in the way that you're used to doing tweaking all of these settings until you get the settings exactly the way you want them and then you tend to master the track so that's the way we all tend to work and it all works very well if you really want to in Cubase you can save just by right clicking you can save um, these tracks as presets and therefore if you can save them as a preset here we are uh, down here save channel preset if you save that as a preset of course that would be available next time you mix you'll be able to load up those same three plugins and tootle the knobs um, a lot of the time though uh, you don't necessarily want to fiddle with every twist and turn on every plugin you may just want to play with a few of them leaving some where they are and, and just working on the settings. So for instance in this one here, the UAD Precision Maximizer, uh, input and output really aren't that important. You don't want to drive the input too far and you certainly want to drive the output too far, but certainly the shape and the mix are two controls that you want to have a little play with uh, and may want to change from one to three bands as well. And in this one here, which is the Pultec EQP1A, um, I tend to add a little bass and pull back a little treble in the mixes and then play perhaps with the bandwidth and I leave the um, low and high frequencies at, at my defaults that I prefer. And the same with Elephant here, the limiter. You want to adjust the gains uh, and a lot of the other settings you leave as they are. So you could just create lots of track presets and just tweak each one as you want. But wouldn't it be good if there was like an interface that you could just tweak the parameters you wanted to tweak all in one place? Well, there is. So I'm just going to load that up now. Um, it's down under Other, and it's called Agent. It's made by a company called NYRV or NUV, and this is the interface for Agent. What Agent is, is it is a channel strip and effects rack, essentially, that you can run in series or in parallel with multiple effects running simultaneously. So in many respects, it's like a VST plugin manager. But then at the same time, you've got this live window where you can drag various controls to those plugins and have them be controlled in, in real time with your mouse or with a MIDI controller. So you can control the key things that you want to control. So for instance here, we've got the Pultec going first. We've then got the Precision Maximizer second, and then I've got the Elephant um, Compressor, sorry, Limiter at the end. So I'm going to go to the configuration screen of this, and I'm going to use uh, this effects change here between slot 1 and slot 8. And just for the sake of it, slot 8, I'm going to put the Elephant plug-in. So I'm just going to press in Elephant, and there we are. It's a VST3. I've just slotted that into slot 8, and there it is loaded up. So let's minimize that. Uh, in slot 1, I'm going to put the Pultec as planned. So we know the Pultec is called the EQP um, 1A. I can't type. 1A um, It's going to be that one up there. I know that's the legacy one. I don't want to load the legacy one. I want to load the standard one. There it is. And in slot two, I'm going to put the precision maximizer. In fact, no, I'm going to put the maximizer somewhere else. But uh, precision maximizer, put that into slot five. And there we are. So now I've got the EQP, the maximizer, and the elephant. And I've got this matrix over here. If I just minimize this plugin browser section, I've got this matrix here onto which I can drop any of the parameters of these plugins. 
So what was I saying before? I tend to use the boost attenuation, boosted attenuation, and perhaps the bandwidth for the um, UAD. I tend to use just the shape and the mix for the maximizer. And for elephant, I tend to use the in gain and leave the out exactly where it is. So I just use the in gain basically to boost uh, and try and bring things up to where I want them. So let's just shove the in gain. So I select the elephant plugin. You see, as I click on different plugins, the list of things. So I'm going to click on in gain and I'm going to drop, drop him down there. There we are. This is the in gain from elephant. If you don't believe me, if I double click on elephant, it loads up the elephant plugin. And as I wiggle this controller, you can see the in gain. If you watch up here, going up and down as I move it. So it's controlling the gain. So I leave that there. Okay. I could label that if I want to by double clicking on it. Sorry, clicking on this little thing here. I could call this uh, elephant gain. There we go, elephant gain. Um, I'll leave it there for the moment. Um, also, I said I wanted to do shape and mix of the maximizer. So I can go shape. Uh, let's just drop that in there and mix in there. Uh, just in case, I'm going to put the output in there as well. I'm going to move elephant, actually, one to the right. There we go. So I've now got the shape mix and the output. And since I've got space, I'm going to put the input in there as well. Okay. Finally, I've got the Pultec EQ. I'm going to leave the low frequency and the high frequency where they are. But I'm going to put the low frequency boost and the low frequency attenuation. The high frequency boost and the high frequency attenuation there. I'm going to put the bandwidth in the middle here and I'm going to leave that one blank. So now I've got all my dials and as I control these dials it's going to control the plugins that I've got dialed up working on this interface. Something else I might want to do is change the color of this because at the moment if I go back to the live view it looks a little bit dull. So I can go back to my configuration Go to the components and go to buttons and knobs and I can for instance change the color of these boosts into blue for instance and red to attenuation that looks quite nice and maybe my sweep should be orange my input here is going to be green black is going to be the final knob uh, inputs green shape I'm going to make uh, orange and then mix and output I'm going to have in purple. And then I've got some graphic elements I can drag and drop on top. Um, I can scroll all the way down and find some ones I like. I've got all sorts in here. I think green's quite nice. So I'm going to do some green elements, which are going to be two by three, other way around, three by two. Where's three by two? I'll drop them onto my pull tech. So that's now my pull tech in green. Um, I'm going to make my maximizer in orange, which is going to be a four by one blob. And then my elephant, somewhere down here, I should have purple because elephants are purple. Um, and I'm going to choose a one by one purple and drop him. there. Now I go out to my live and you can see now I've got my um, boost and attenuations in Pultec, my controls in my maximizer and my elephant here. If that's not enough and you want a bit more interesting uh, labels, you've got labels here uh, and I can scroll down these and find various um, labels that have been predefined so a lot of them are for channel strips you've got delays and distortion and drive and effects and stuff but i think what i'll do is i'll just copy uh, eq and place that underneath there i don't think there is a maximizer i'll go down and have a look m for maximizer you can make your own ones um, which is quite nice ah maximizer there we are that goes under the maximizer and the final one is going to be a limiter so I should be able to find one that says limiter and put that under elephant. 
So now if I look at my live screen, I've got EQ, maximizer, and limiter. So I can turn off the plugins that I had before. Oh, there we go. Off, off, and off. I'm just using agent as my plugin, and I can have a look now at each of my plugins and just set the controls to the where I want them. You can see I leave my input where it is and my output where I normally have it. I've got the shape working there. You can see shape is working, mix is working, which is great. Um, on the pull tech, I'm going to leave the frequencies where I normally have them. And I've now got control, if you look on the pull tech, over boost, attenuation, bandwidth, boost, and attenuation. Okay, so set them all back to zero. And then finally on the elephant, you can see I've got control there, as we described before, of the in gain. So I'm going to leave that at the moment at close to zero. Okay, so I can close all those down just by clicking on the little button there, and I can start my playback. I've got VU meters showing the inputs and the outputs, and the VU meters showing the inputs of each of the plugins I've got running. And now I can start boosting my bass cutting down some of the high frequencies. And now I have my mastering chain in the way I like it. I can then click on the save button, save as a global preset and call this mastering max and I can recall that at any moment I want and in fact I can shut this down I can disable all of these effects and just simply put agent in load up the blank window, choose my global preset mastering max and you'll notice that the plugins have all loaded in the background and all the settings are where I wanted them so I can do some subtle tweaking. The only thing that seems to be missing at the moment is things like gain reduction VUs for compressors and various other things like that. Um, you've got um, interesting configurations where you can change the order quite inst instantly just click on the routing for instance and you can drag the order of various things and once the buttons have been configured and the controls are configured it doesn't matter which order you put these in you can also subtly mix each one which is quite nice and adjust the output gain of each one and you can run in parallel or series between these two different racks also in the configuration you've got the option to change the way things look so if you go to um, the configuration go to the components and the themes you can choose between kind of a dark very synthesizer -y look this kind of gritty look I quite like that look it's quite a pretty look um, a very modern bright and in your face bright look or this rather vintage theme which I, I prefer at the moment so I'm going to leave it on that vintage theme and then you can just edit away to your heart's content it's quite a big uh, console quite a large window you can't resize it or anything but you can certainly fill it with various bits and bobs and for those who don't have oodles worth of plugins already um, you can uh, use the ones that they give you so if I just uh, go back and clear all this so just go back to um, one of the presets let's just choose the default one it loads up its own compressor, its own EQ, its own drive, its own booster, its own transformer and its own filter and you can then if you want to go in and, and play with those settings uh, and edit things as well. You'll notice that some of these if you double click on them, sorry if you go to the configuration and click on them you can choose various things you can see here ratio 2, 4, 10 are the only three presets in this one and you can see that the steps are three so this 
clicker switch only goes two, four, and ten. You've got nowhere in between, whereas most of the other uh, controllers are sweeps, etc. And you've got little buttons you can turn things off as well, and you can enable and disable things. So actually, it's a it's a really quite cool interface. Um, I haven't played at all with the plugins that came with it. I just wanted a way of putting a lot of my stuff in one place, and uh, I'm I'm quite enjoying using it. So, Agent by NYRV. It's on sale at the moment for forty nine dollars. That's the twenty third of December two thousand and sixteen. But you never know; it may be on sale for longer. It's uh, quite a cool little interface and I can see it being quite handy.